Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile. Um, progressed on a bit since the last time uh, into Act Two. Uh, I've just gone down to the I think it's the Weaver's Chambers where the big spiders are. Uh, what we're we looking for. Um, predominantly looking for attack speed in our uh, passive skill tree. Mm, don't know if I need. Um, just hit a big one, 12% of attack speed, very nice. Uh, and we're going to sort of make our way around to 4 there, 4 there, 4 there. There's another one, 6%. Dual wielding, obviously nice as well. So, we're going to head sort of around there. And then we've got some more abilities. One is Blood Rage, which, when we kill an enemy, we get a. Frenzy Charge, which again increases our attack speed. Um, it does leech life, or does it do? Increases attack speed when on low life by 25%, which is incredibly useful. Uh, lose, lose some life as we go along, but we get the fr few uh, Frenzy Charges, which is very beneficial. Is that really starts to pay off? Um, but we sort of use that. We have large clumps of enemies we want to hack, hack through very quickly. It makes it quite an interesting thing because you've got to try and get through as many en enemies as quickly as you can to keep the charges going. We can see the difference in the attack speed. Pretty quick. I think we get bonus damage as well. Yeah, up to 500. So it becomes about trying to kill as many enemies as you can. I mean, we are okay with this kind of tech speed at the moment. I think it might be time to start upping damage and looking for physical damage or... Frost damage is an option, but there only seems to be one... Uh, one thing of it on the entire passive skill tree. We need to get one quickly. Yeah, there, we go. there we go, there's the quest. Um, so we might just go for fire instead. I'm not sure how much electric is on there either. some of those. It's slightly under leveled for this area. Get the blue ones. Warlord's Mark gives us more uh, charges for our flasks. The Weaver, what does he do? Resist cold, resist lightning damage, resist chaos damage. Deals chaos damage, so he cuts through shield. We haven't got any of that, so that should be okay. Seem to be taking a fair bit of damage. I oh, wasn't paying attention. Make sure we get flasks back. We do have sort of reasonably good life on. Why am I taking damage? Oh, horrible thing is. Okay, so we've done a bit of fed, bit of damage. Just let our health come back before we have a proper go in. Stand toe to toe, have a bit of a jog away. That hurts. And he killed me. Really should have. Oh, put a pop down. <coughs> because now it's a pretty long trek back to where we were. We are now losing experience as well when we die, which is incredibly painful. I think we're going down this way. Yeah. Do -do -do. Yeah, we found uh, cutlasses are the quick quickest swords we can use. So we're now looking for sort of the bigger. Um, percentage uh, damage. We don't want the lower percentages, so the quicker. So in our search, we need to look for big percentages. There's a lot of two percent attack speed. I'd rather take 
a couple of um, I'd rather take a longer route and get a larger attack speed than just get the odd maybe two or three. Back up. So we're doing about 500 damage, 700 damage. That's mostly the attack speed, very little add ons to our actual physical damage. So that's a good start. I think it was this way. Yeah, I think it is. Here all there. So we're also going to aim for a, a passive that gives you your life. Back instantly. Luckily, they kind of stay. He really hits very hard. Having a blue next to him is rather. Let's try and kill him off. Didn't learn from last time, just to get a portal up. Because I don't want to have to run all the way back here. When I inevitably die. A couple of hits, then move away. Real kiting never found you. skills. Crystal Scepter, okay that's that then. I'm trying to find a good... Oh, definitely want that. If we chuck out from our inventory, don't need that bow, definitely not. Some boots. What's this? Flame Titan. I really wish there was a way to buy the skills, even if they cost a lot. It'd be a good way to to be able to get what you want out of your character. Okay. Looks like that's broken. So we'll. Yep. So we're back. Uh, not quite sure what happened there, but fixed it pretty quickly. So. Never mind. Getting a new skill, don't need elemental damage, don't need that. Any fire damage, I'll get one of those. Dish max, you don't need one of those. Blood magic, don't need that. Life leash, don't need that. Melee, physical damage. Reduce mana. Don't need any of those. Maybe life leech, reduce mana. Elemental damage, more weapon elemental damage. More accuracy rating, what's max at the moment? 86. Uh, I suppose we could get that and just whack it in somewhere. This is a support gem, it does not grant a bonus to your character the skill in the sockets which it's connected to. So that's not... Can't just throw that in somewhere. 
Hmm. Reduce mana, maybe. Let's have really need that. Uh, this is what I'm talking about the skills. I mean, if we could have a bit of diversity in there so we can. This is the only one I don't have. Right? 86 is pretty high. We can get that through the thing. I guess I can't get this one through the thing. More weapon elemental damage. There, we'll go for that then. Do -do. So if we stick that in... Oh, it doesn't have a... Blink in. Before this number of sockets. So we'll just... Come red. Come red. So I put that in here. Just increase my damage. 420. Take it out. 420. That does absolutely nothing. Annoying. Very annoying. Hello. Get rid of that. What have we still got there? Up some odd things. Shield, so she's using a shield. And the other one, I quite like to check it out. Movement speed, armor. Nope. Gave me one of these things, that's good. Check out the shield compared to the other shield. So, has a lot more armor. It's got energy shield, cold resistance, crease block. Yeah, probably better than that one. Energy shield. No, I don't care about energy shield. Get rid of that one. What? 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 What indeed? We're trying to keep cutses as their attack speed is very good. Those bandits you've encountered out there. Yep. Not sure what that's for. I can't remember. Flame token. We have one of these somewhere. Good, good. Ooh, so close to getting. Nice little collection of gold rings. Put that there and that there. So what we've got is one of these regal orbs. Um, I'm trying to find a half decent um, cutlass. Ooh. It's got 65 attacks. Oh, 65 attack speed. Um, I'm trying to find a slightly higher level one of these, so we can muck around with it and turn it into a good, a good blue, um, and then use this to make it a better yellow. So we have control over what the blue um, parts of it, its initial stats will be. That's the plan. I think yellows have four. Blues have a maximum of two, so ignore the accuracy rating and then you. So that one has physical damage and plus two mana. And a bit of quality. Um, so that one has extra two. So yes, that's our plan with those. What quests have we got now to go and do? We've got there. Bandits. So we might.
might open the yeah we're going to open the forest up because we're just in the dark forest so we can so we should have that explored good so it's going to be this way let's get a bit of a jog on G. Uh, fire was my downfall last time. Made a quick mess of that. That's a good time for blood rage, I think it's cool. Aha. This please river crossing. the right way? No, we've gone back. Disaster. So where are we going to get... Must be... Must be this way then. T. Run a bit quicker please. down there. It's an annoyance. <laughs> Corpses. What's this? Elemental damage. It's one with lots of slots. Prone to taking huge amounts of damage. Come back. Very good to me. Uh, definitely don't have fire. Just come out of the spider bit of the forest, it must be down here. Died. 
Well, that went horribly, so we'll cut the video there and uh, go and try and level up for a while. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye. So we'll just resume. Uh, managed to get through relatively unscathed. Uh, yep. So now we're looking to unblock the entrance, which take us back to Act 1, should we ever want to go there, which I'm not entirely sure we would do. Nonetheless, that's what they're asking me to do. So, we'll have a wander around. Hacky, hacky. Is this all the, also the area of oak again? Ow, oh, that was explosive. I think this is the area of oak again. Is it? It might be. Was it that one? I think oak. I'm just going to have to quickly check. Oh no. The other one, so the I think the dude over over here gives me attack speed, so that's the one I want to uh, make a deal with. I think the first and the third time if you kill everyone you get uh, you get a passive skill point versus this one I want the attack speed. Which you don't get. Otherwise well, which you don't get unless you spare. Go on. Just your purple ones. So I think the witch is in this area. I'm not sure I'll hold up. I'm still slightly on the level. So we'll leave that. We are level 42, this is a level 44 area. Oh, just as we say. So slightly under leveled, so we might have to go and try and find something else to do. Uh, although I do want to go and open up that thing. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and leg it and see what the reward is. Just trying to avoid things. I'm I assume if I follow this road along, I'll eventually come to the exit. There's rather a lot of purple dudes. Right away. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna. Should we need to take the most careful potions? Though, yeah, bows and arrows are gonna destroy me. We can make. We can make that if we run. So I'm gonna try and run it. I'm confident I can make that if I run. Okay, so I'm just going to follow the road along. Excuse me. God, there's loads of them. Oh. Maybe if we bottleneck it, we can take them out. Elite guard. Die elite guard. Want some of the experience back you stole from me. They take a lot of hits. How much damage we're doing at the moment? 500. Nearly tipping a thousand damage with this. Let's 
go back to the frozen calm and then we'll jump back to Act One and get the reward. No, we're gonna go in the old field. No, no. What a mistake I had to make. Huh? Act one, please. So the level scaling between the areas is either they've changed it drastically to make it make it harder, which would be fair enough. What are you gonna give me? Ooh, passive skill point. That was worth it. Um, to make it harder, because uh, I'm in this one, I couldn't do this level 39. You've got level 34, so that's the last quest you have to end up. You sort of end up doing in there after having done the boss. So I think they've adjusted it to make it a bit harder. Um, it's got to be cool. um, which is pretty Hello. good. It results in me dying lots. Don't need that. What if I can't sell it? Can't sell it. Uh, what's that? Is that a shield? Goodbye. Check out what this is. Dagger. Hmm. I can't. Uh, I need intelligence to use daggers, that's really annoying. Oh well. Didn't even give me something good. Let's check out what this knife flask is. Increase recovery speed, 50% instant. Is that better than anything I've got? That's, that's, that one's the useful one. Mm, instant recovery on low life. Yeah, that's not particularly useful. A weird collection of stuff. It doesn't s never seems to stack properly when. So you collect like the bits, and then the bits turn into one of these things. Um, but they don't seem to stack properly. So they sort of make their own pile when you've made enough. Which makes makes sense, which is a bit annoying. But you kind of have to go and sort through stuff. So where do we want to go? We could really do some more defences. So we've got a good chunk of life. What's that? 12 percent maximum life. I think we might go for sort of round here, melee damage. Maximum there. Attack speed. Where are some where some sword things? That's not bad. Hmm, that's good. That could be a good one, dual wheel speed. So do we want that? Do we? Problem is at the moment we're taking loads of damage, especially from fire. <laughs> we're okay. Is that just because they're out leveling me or because I don't have good enough resistance to fire? So look at defensive. Fire resistance 16%, cold resistance, take a lot of damage from cold, cast resistance, fair enough. I think it's because I'm under leveled. And trying to charge through. Yeah, well, let's, let's just up our damage and kill stuff quicker. That's always a sound. It's always sound, isn't it? So we need to get to here and go something up. Mm. Well, we also wanted this, so we can get it, get our life back instantly rather than having to wait. That's that's what we're aiming. I think more damage is definitely going to serve us well. Increase accuracy. Accuracy. Blocking. Attack speed. Attack speed. Hmm. Don't want. That. Decided against getting. Mm. Decided against. Decided against getting this ice for now. 
may get it later on. What's this? That's a good one. That's a big one. So what's that? Two. So that's got ten attack speed in it. This has got two, four. So that's got six. So that's got ten. So that one's better. Fifteen damage. Nineteen damage. Twenty-three damage. Twenty-three. Thirty-one damage. Four, eight. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-eight. If my maths are correct, thirty-eight. So it's got more damage, it's got more attack speed. There's a lot of damage. I do, we're going to want both. This is all accuracy, isn't it? A bit of attack speed. We ignore that one. What's this? Frenzy charge. Do you want a friend do you want an additional frenzy charge? Hmm, I'm not sure if they're doing anything. With one handed melee weapons. She might get rid of that because I'm coming down there from I'm just gonna take off that. See what happens. I'm on 423, so we'll refund the passive. Why can't I refund it? Mm. Seems to be stuck in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did check at the time. So yeah, we'll assume that's okay. Is there anything else I can refund? I'd need that intelligence, unfortunately. Need, 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 need. Anything just out on its own? Probably the dexterity I can get rid of. I don't think that's going to cause too much havoc if we get rid of that one. Yep, it's not telling me I need to do it. So we'll get rid of that. We will be getting more anyway. And we go, what? go on to... Hmm... What's down here? Armour increases evasion. Evasion. Around here, 200 weapon damage. There's not really any sword stuff around here. Stun, strength, shield. Oh, that's quite a good one. Diamond skin. I mean, that's why we started as a marauder, so we can get that. And then it wasn't. And of course, blood magic. So we're gonna eventually make our way around to here. Requirements not met. Requirements not met. What does that mean? Is that all else? Oh, I guess we can't make it there. So maybe here then here. Start getting the damage up. Down here, your wheel speed. 4% as opposed to 2%. S weapon damage. Okay, so yeah, we're going to just get this little pocket down here. See how much it increases. 418. Apply. Come out of this, so it was 418, now 433. And we've hit the 900 mark. Good. What we'll do, we'll cut that there. Uh, a bit stilted. Need to find some areas we can actually go around in and uh, actually survive in. What's it? Oh yeah, we can't. 
why can't we do that? Not sure. Um, so we're looking at going through and doing, that's both 44. It's only two levels to be able to sort of survive properly in those. Um, I don't know, maybe we could go up there. Investigate the Black Guards, Chamber of Sin. Yeah, maybe we'll head over that way. I think we will. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.